at Faneuil Hall, a tribute concert to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The crowd filling the seats for a special performance of the Boston Youth Symphony Orchestra's intensive community program. It helps students of color and others with classical music training. You see children who you probably wouldn't have seen back in the day playing classical music um, and really enjoying that and that's incredible. Proud parents watching their children perform. If you think about what MLK himself would think about watching these kids be exposed to this amazing music in this amazing place, and it's sort of the culmination of his dream, I would think. At Cradles to Crayons in Newton, hundreds of volunteers are packing up clothes and other essentials for children. I grew up in the city of Boston, in Dorchester, Massachusetts, and just being able to give back to the community is just um, a great feeling. Every year, the nonprofit helps 200 100,000 low-income children across the state. It honors Dr. King's legacy because it was all about making an equal playing field for all. So we're helping the kids and families throughout Massachusetts bring that equality to what they wear to school every day. Volunteers say today is a day to give back. I think of MLK Day as a day of service. Now, Cradles to Crayons also works with schools, hospitals, health care systems to get those clothes out to the kids that need them most. We're live here on Boston Common. Charmin Sacchetti, WCVB News Center 5. Charmin, thank you.